Well, so there's what the corn looks like. Man, they're doing good. Not so good down in this area here for some odd reason. But this is all flat right in here. But the further up the hill you go, the drive you go here, it... Here, let's just walk out a few, a few rows here. Holy cow. Wow. Holy cow, this is, oop. This is just wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, it's way too early for, for ears. Way too early, but just figured that I'd come out here and and to see what, uh, <laughs> wow, yeah, this is every bit of, like, five, every bit of five inches, <laughs> wow. And, uh, the endros here, let's go over, go over quite a bit here, uh, yep, it kind of goes down again, but it's just a, a wow factor and there's a couple spots here now we're getting into the good stuff here that's a couple of that hasn't really fully grown but but it's all right but wow this i'm sure down in the valley way down over there that i'm sure that's like head as tall as this here Man, I I can remember a couple years that when I was wee little growing up that the corn the corn would be as tall as the combine cab, and uh, that was back in early 2000 I think um, back when we had the 1440 and we were uh, renting this ground before we bought it. Um, it was it was over there. I remember from the picture seeing it that uh, the corn was taller than the combine cab. But there you go. Now we're getting to, to the real tall stuff. This is just, well, I'm amazed. Look at the real, real tall stuff over there. I'm not sure if, I, if the camera's getting that or not, but holy stinking cow. The reason what causes this here is deer damage. Deer getting after it and trampling it down. It looks like right there's a deer print. That's a deer print right there. And uh, right there's one and there's one. Um, that's the bad thing about corn is these, is the deer will get after this stuff. Like especially along tree lines. There's another one down. And uh, there's another one, and another one, and another one. Is the deer will just go nuts over this stuff? Yeah.